last classifier model we are going to use that is basically exe boost classifier it is one of my the best uh, algo uh, machine learning algorithm in the machine learning so exe boost classifier every time i'm going to use the random every time for any for classifier algorithm i'm going to first going with the exe boost and the svm that we can just say that it depends upon you which algorithm you are going to find the best it depends upon your more research on which algorithm you are get, you are finding that we are getting a better accuracy or better result or every time i am going with the exe boost and svm they are not going to be give us the less accuracy every time it's is my assumption you can go with your own assumption this all i can just explain about the which algorithm we have to just pick up but it's not any compulsory that we can just go with every time exe boost svm we can't say even the losty regression sometime giving a better accuracy than of any other algorithm that is really unpredict unpredictable in this thing so what we can just write here we can just first of all we are going to import the library exe boost from exe boost or uh, that is import exe boost classifier that's this really easy okay exe boost classifier i can just write this thing okay i'm just importing this one and list uh, minimize this thing and now i'm just going to create our create model that we model i'm just going to inside the model and for that what i'm just writing a model underscore uh, exe boost classifier and then after you can just pass exe boost classifier uh, making the object of this classifier again now you will see you are going to find so many of have a parameter like maximum date learning rate and estimator you can just do so many have a parameter tuning in this now even i can just go with an an estimator again i'm just going to check with an estimator or uh, we can just write here an estimator as something as 100 i'm just writing or whatever 200 i'm just writing even you can go with the learning rate what the learning rate you have just given in the last something you are just given as uh, something 0.03 uh, something we are just checking with the same learning rate oh, i hope so we will get the, some better accuracy but yeah it, it might give you the better accuracy than other model but let's check model underscore xgb now we are going to train our model i'm just writing here i hope so i no need to explain everything now because already i have explained so many time training model so model underscore xz boost dot fit i'm just writing dot fit and that's basically i have to just pass the two parameter that is x underscore train and y underscore train that's it and run this particular model model underscore xz boost and dot fit you already train your model the next part is basically what we are going to do we are going to do the prediction part prediction okay so in that prediction part we are just writing xz boost and then after we have to just write here or uh, that is basically model underscore xgp and then after we have to just call as predict and we have to pass two parameter here the first parameter we have to just pass here y test the second parameter we have to pass which parameter we can just part as model oh what happened to me i have to pass only x test why i am just passing y test i just got confused with the accuracy score okay just run this one wow you can just keep in xz boost or predict xz boost i can just write here predict and just go xz boost okay now you can just check the accuracy of your xz boost okay for checking the accuracy underscore dot xz b i am just writing here accuracy underscore score and you can just pass two parameters the first parameter is basically your y underscore test and the second parameter is basically pred underscore xgb whatever you can pass first pred underscore xgb and then after y, y test it does not make any sense because we are going to compute the in the different terms so it's not compulsory that you, every time you have to pass the first parameter as y test or pred xgb okay now you can just check the accuracy underscore dot xgb into 100 oh 66 percent i find you are getting some more better accuracy uh then of the some other model like xg boost also you are getting some better accuracy but again you can just play this you might get something above 70 percent accuracy you might get something above 70 percent accuracy uh let's see you are getting 66 percent if i'm just going to check 0.05 in what accuracy we are getting you are getting 65 you are getting you have decreased the accuracy but if you are getting something as 0.01 you can use the for loop i'm just writing for you only i'm just doing this all thing but you can go with the uh, i think whatever we can just see 66 percent we are getting something in 0.04 also so this is what we are getting in this for now i'm just keeping the same as it is for now leave it for that so this the, that all was all about the uh, that is a machine learning classifier that is machine learning algorithm you can go with uh, any algorithm like on which algorithm you are getting a better accuracy or 
anything then you can just go with the tune the parameter and you will get some better accuracy see uh, it might you are getting in the random forest you have get something 68 percent we are able to see uh, in the random forest you get 67 that's your highest i think 67 in the svm you might get something 68 percent this you are getting something is 68 percent so this what we already see so that's all about the, this it's up to you you can do the hyper parameter tuning so i have just given you the the projects about the all the how we are going to do the water quality prediction in more details you can tune the parameter for the better accuracy so you can just go with the number of an estimator you can apply the for loop you can go with the uh, learning rate i have just explained everything in detail so that's all about the classifier algorithm how we are going to use in the next i will that will be your last video we'll see on which particular uh, algorithm we are getting the accuracy and we'll just draw a bar chart of that that's all thank you